Hello there. So, since my last video around the car park in uh, a club that I belong to, which is very tight and very pitted and full of potholes, but good for just general things like brake testing and manoeuvrability and just feeling how the steering feels and the acceleration. And it's a good thing to do to shake down a car before you take it anywhere else. We went down to CKGB's AGM. Now, the AGM was held um, in Northampton, very near a, a cart track, which we went to later on and did a couple of hours around the cart track. I took this to the cart track and it behaved probably better than I'd expected around a cart track. It was, it was going very well. Um, the issues with large amounts of lash on the front end um, were not as apparent on a smoother car track as they were around that car park. It felt grounded, it went around corners well, the steering didn't buck and kick, you could even go on rough ground and ride over the verges quite well, the suspension worked brilliantly on the front end. Um, I'm happy with that. So we're going to have a little walk around. I've got things to do and I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do on this cart before the chassis is to a point where I'm happy to body it. And I'm not far off. I believe I can do it now. Um, so here we go. We'll, we'll have a look at the back end. The exhaust, yep, that worked fine. Didn't drop off. Bonus. The rear differential, as you can see, has bedded in nicely. It's working well. I had one issue with that working loose slightly now. I think it's just because that one's holding the key through into um, a thinner axle underneath. So it's keyed through a, a, a one inch um, shaft hollow into a three quarter inch shaft, which is a tight fit inside and it's sat into a keyway. Now that must have just settled in a little during testing so I had to tighten that up but that was it no the tightening the brakes I altered those after the um, little jaunt around the paddock that you saw the other day on the video and I've added um, a different pivot point to the foot brake to get the leverage upon the master cylinder further up it was about there and it's now further up there so I've got a mechanical advantage there I've also put some strengtheners in the pedal because I had a little deflection in the pedal I'm now very happy with that it does its job it slows you down and if you really stand on it you can lock the back end so it's about as good as a brake needs to be on a cycle cart um, so the front end suspension you can see I've got little bits on it at the moment the trouble that it seems to be having is spring compliance in this anti-roll bar so these the length of that from there to from there to there has spring in it because it is spring steel and if I do that you might just be able to see the spring that's causing the issue so I'm putting a bit of pressure on there and it's exacerbated in tight turns. Now when it's going straight you barely notice it on the track. When you go around corners, if it's smooth you don't notice it at all. It just seems to go around. But it was a little disconcerting going around that car park even though it held the ground well. So what I'm intending on doing is I've got some um, th 3 millimeter, I suppose in American money, that's an eighth of an inch, by 25 millimeter box section that I've cut into a U-tube there and I'm going to shape it there and then I'm going to weld it on all the way down the inside so it'll stiffen the spring in this bit of the member there and I'll do that on all four of them grind them off make them look a bit pretty and then we can paint them up silver and I think that that will solve any visual issues I have with it um, altering camber around the bends now it might still do it a little bit 
but as soon as it held the held the track well enough even with a spring in it's more belt and braces than anything else my little concern is it might turn into a stress multiplier at this point if I do that but I'm willing to give it a go because I think that'll be enough to make it a good suspension system from an adequate suspension system. Um, the bounce up and down was perfect, the spring rate was great, it didn't need damping um, and that's where we are with that bit. So when I've cured that I'll give everything a paint up before I put it on on the front end and we'll try probably another little test run down the car park and see if it's made anything much of a difference to the front end which I'm hoping it will have and then it's bodywork. Brilliant.